Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. This video is an overview of FreeBSD's package management when it comes to ready to install packages and you will only need to know a handful of commands to manage your system. The aim of this video is to provide just a bit more background information for a better understanding. In FreeBSD, applications can be installed through packages that contains pre-built or pre-compiled binaries through a couple of easy commands. Besides those pre-built packages, there is also the FreeBSD ports collection for installing from source. Both methods have their pros and cons, and there are things you can do by compiling from the source code on your local system that you won't be able to do with a pre-built package. But for the majority of us, and in most use cases, just installing a package from FreeBSD's repository will do the job. A package typically contains pre-compiled binaries, configuration files, and documentation. Packages can be manipulated with the FreeBSD PKG command that stands for Package Management System. PKG provides the interface for this and simplifies the process. It also includes automatic dependency management. And as mentioned, just a handful of commands will go a long way. In this demo, we are using a FreeBSD system that has the XFCE desktop environment installed, but it will also work on a FreeBSD system with no desktop environment and just a terminal. Also, the XFCE terminal has been pimped out a little bit, just to make it look better. There will be links to the related videos in the description for your convenience. And lastly, sudo is enabled, and again, a link is available. Now let's start with a very simple example. We would like to run NeoFetz, which is at the moment not installed, resulting in command not found. You can install a package with the pkg install command. In this case, sudo pkg install NeoFetz. You might have issued this command following a tutorial many times before without further thought, but what is actually going on? It will by default start with an update of the FreeBSD repository catalog to make sure it is up to date. The integrity will be checked. Then it lists the packages that will be affected or will be installed, the number of packages, and if available, the file size. Then we are asked to proceed and by answering Y for yes, the actual packets will be downloaded or fetched from the repository and the packets will be installed. If there are dependency packages, they will also be mentioned, fetched and installed. All of the before is the default out of the box behavior of the pkg install command and with various command line options, this behavior can be manipulated. For example, if I don't want to confirm the package installation with Y, but I would like to continue straight away at the des Y option. This is useful if you are creating an unattended installation. Let's do this for the 8 stop packets. sudo pkg install des y 8 stop. Also, you can install multiple packages at once just by adding them and place a space between the package names. sudo pkg install neofetch 8 stop. In this case, it lists the packages and the total number of packages to be installed is now 2. For the remainder of this video, I'm now going to show you different examples with the corresponding commands, but without all sorts of history, background information and possibly unnecessary technicalities that you might not be interested in if you just want to get a job done or if you simply like to see a quick overview. There is not necessarily a logical order in the commands, so my apologies for that. So, we've already seen how to install a package with the pkg install command. Removing a package, you have two options that serve the exact same purpose. You can remove a package with sudo pkg remove or delete, both will work, sudo pkg remove neofetch. Again, you can specify multiple packages at once or play with the various options, but I won't keep mentioning this going forward. There are just many possibilities for every command install and remove commands we have seen so far would assume that you know the exact name of the packets. But if you don't know that, you can search the repository for a keyword with pkg search and then your keyword. This will generate a list of packages with the packets name and a short description. Add dash o to the pkg search command to see the category the package belongs to. To study the details of an already installed packet, use the pkg info command. This will include the package name, version, when it was installed, 
the origin and the category. Some links and to maintain your information. Some comments. The size. Possible dependencies. And a short description. If you omit the package name, so just PKG info, you will get a long list of all the installed packages with their version and again a short description. Use grep to filter down the list. Add this S to show the size of a package, so S for size. Or and dash D to show dependencies, D for dependency. If you don't want to install a package straight away, but you want to collect your packages and then save them offline for installation later, use the pkg fetch command. So if you want to download or fetch Firefox before installing it, sudo pkg fetch Firefox. Notice that it now reads new packages to be fetched instead of installed. If you don't specify an alternative location, the default location for the downloaded or fetched packages is the pkg cache directory in var cache pkg. Add test d, d for dependencies, to also fetch any dependency packages and use O, O for output, to specify the directory to store the download to. And everything will be contained in a directory in the output location specified. Here the packages are stored in the .pkg format. And sometimes a package can also be in the .txz format, depending on the source they were acquired from. When it is time to install the earlier download packages, install them with the pkg add command. sudo pkg add firefox.pkg As you can see, the pkg install command can download and install from the repository. And if you need to install a previously downloaded file offline, use the pkg add command. To update the repository database, sudo pkg update. And to actually upgrade all of the installed packages already on your system at once, sudo pkg upgrade. There are some upgrades pending. Let's apply them. and reissue the commands to make sure we are fully updated. To list all of the outdated packages, pkg version des v capital L equals. And of course now there are none anymore. I should have issued that command earlier. FreeBSD comes with auditing capabilities built into the system. You can easily audit your installed packages against known vulnerabilities via pkg's built-in auditing mechanism, sudo pkg audit dash capital F. In this case, nothing is reported. If there is, the instructions will be clear. The fetched file vuln.xml.xz is a compressed database containing information about known vulnerabilities. If you are interested, this file is located in the directory var db pkg. You can also audit a specific package instead of all the packages. When you remove packages, it may leave behind some dependency packages that are not required by anything else anymore on the system. They are sometimes also called orphaned packages. You can clean up after yourself with the command sudo pkg auto remove. If you are curious to check the number of installed packages on your system, Type pkg dash capital N, or you can get the total package statistics. pkg stats. In my case, there are 440 packages with a combined local size of around 3 gigabytes. 
but there are more than 35,000 packages available in FreeBSD's online repository. To see the list of the 440 installed packages, type PKG list, and then filter it down with grep or any other method. Also, the output of NeoFetch shows the number of installed packages. Automatically installed dependency packages are called automatic packages, and that will be a big portion of the installed packages. To only list packages that were installed explicitly, meaning not as part of another package, type pkg prime dash list for a noticeably shorter list of packages. You can manually set if a package is an automatic package or a non-automatic package if you need to. The list of possibilities and sample commands can be way, way longer. I'm just showing the top of the iceberg here. You can lock and unlock a package against removal, deletion or modification. Sudo pkg lock neofetch. Then the removal of the neofetch packets is now no longer possible. So let's unlock it again. And with the which command, you can find the location of an executable or program. For example, 8stop. Of course, this has nothing to do with PKG, but now that you know the full path to the application's executable, you can now figure out to which installed packets it belongs to and it was installed by. PKG, which, and then the full path to the executable. All the downloaded packages are, by default, in the var cache pkg. Here an example of the 8 stop packets that we have downloaded earlier. Downloaded packages and all the versions of packages will remain in this cache until cleaned. To remove all the versions of packages from the cache that are no longer needed, sudo pkg clean. In my case this cleanup will result in 500 megabytes of regained space. And when I run it again, it will report that there is now nothing to do. Everything demonstrated so far is the default behavior. As with almost everything in FreeBSD, you can configure it to your liking. The behavior of pkg is managed through the optional file pkg.conf, which is located in user local etc. This is the system-wide configuration file for pkg, where you can change many of the defaults demonstrated in the example commands. You can set the repository to be used, custom cache directories, quiet mode, mirrors, lock actions, verbose output, and much, much more. More information can also be found in the pkg.conf men page. Of course, and not mentioned so far, also the pkg command itself has an extensive men page and a help facility. Try men pkg, pkg help, the commands supported are highlighted on screen now. For example, pkg help install for a specific section. And lastly, to show the version of pkg on your system, type pkg-v. The latest version as of this video is version 1.21.3. pkg will automatically be updated as part of the pkg upgrade command and can be handled like any other packets. You can clarify this with pkg info pkg. That's it, hope it helped, and if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye!